in the figure above if MNOP is a trapezoid and NOPR is a parallelogram, so it's this parallelogram within the trapezoid, what is the area of triangular region MNR? So I recall this question, and I remember one thing I really didn't like about it is uh, the triangle it's asking us to solve the area for is not the one that is shaded. So don't solve for this. They're asking for the area of this triangle. So what I want to do here is first I want to let's examine this diagram a bit because it looks like it is telling us some stuff. So if these angles for this triangle here are equal to each other, that makes this an isosceles triangle. Uh, so these sides are also going to be equivalent to each other. But if this guy here is a parallelogram, what that means is uh, the opposite sides have equal length. So this side is also going to have the same length as these two sides of the triangle. And if we finish labeling it, O. Oh. So we know this is a right triangle here. Q and P. And so what else do we know? So if uh, we know these lines are parallel to each other, so anytime I have parallel lines, I'm thinking about transversals or lines that cross the parallel line. So if we can imagine those two lines are, are like this. And then this line here, MP, is going like this. Uh, and so our X is right over here, angle X. Uh, what does this mean? Uh, so our corresponding angles on this side should be equivalent. Uh, and so this angle here, which so this triangle QOP is sort of here. And this guy here should also be X because this guy here should match this guy here. This guy here should match here. Uh, then the same here. This should match here and this should match here. Uh, but the point is uh, this angle here should also be X. And so if I was to make an imaginary right triangle now out of this like this, let's think about this. So uh, these two triangles, uh, they're going to be similar because they both have a 90 degree angle. They both have this angle X here. So therefore this angle up here should also be equivalent. You know, we can call that Y degrees if we want. So if my triangles are similar, their sides are in the same proportion to each other, uh, but we know their hypotenuse are literally have the same length. Therefore, the proportion is really just one to one. And so all of their sides uh, are the same. So these aren't just uh, similar triangles. These are literally equivalent triangles. Uh, and so because of that, uh, they're asking us for the area of uh, triangular region uh, MNR. Uh, that's the same as if we can find this guy here, which uh, uh, well, really, so they're asking for this whole triangle here. So uh, that's just this triangle twice because uh, this triangle here also has this X here and it's also 90 degrees. So we just, uh, if we can find uh, QOP, then we can get half of the triangle here. So we're just going to multiply it by two. But really, we can think of this question as what is the shaded region, the area of the shaded region? Uh, and so knowing that, and that requires doing your work up front, we can start with the second statement. The area of the shaded region is five. So that is sufficient. Now remember, it means uh, the area of MRN is gonna be 10, right? But uh, data sufficiency doesn't matter. So this is sufficient. Statement one, the area of region NOPR, so that's the uh, parallelogram is 30. Uh, so is that uh, helpful at all? Not really, because so how do you find the area of a parallelogram? It really is just based on height. So we would have to know what this guy is. Z in its base would be PR. Uh, there's no way to find either of the things. So this is really just sort of saying, you know, PR times, uh, you know, OQ. 
not equal to 30. But uh, without being able to find either of the things, we can't really go any further. We need to find either of this triangle, which we really can't do. We need PQ, and we can't get that. So uh, B, the first, the second statement by itself is sufficient.